During the 10th annual Trans Day of Action, the transgender community gathered on the pier to celebrate the 45th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. Trans Day of Action is a day of solidarity for the transgender community. It is a day to stand united and demand for an end to violence against trans people, and the demand for equality and a safer future. The event was organized by Trans Justice of the RG Lord Project, whose mission is to protect and campaign for transgender rights. Um, trans people are more likely to be killed as a result of violence in society and in the overall LGBT community. And most of those uh, are trans women and trans women of color and black trans women. We still live in a city where trans people are subject to homophobic and transphobic insults, are in high risk of being victims of losing their jobs and homes, are the victims of violent assaults, and are forced to live with the lack of proper health care. They are just left at the bottom. They're marginalized in society, I should say. Because it is the 10th anniversary of struggles we have been fighting as transgender people. And I think today kind of marks the day where we celebrate some of those accomplishments, but yet also recognize that there's still so much work to be done. But I think now it being 10 years, there's a bigger sense of hope in our community that wasn't there. So it's a very special day for me. And, and I mean, it's like a day at the beach for me because I'm not gonna stress over what is gonna happen for us. In the past year, in this year past, we have won many victories. Hemos ganado muchas victorias. But there is still work to be done. Pero todavía hay trabajo que hacer. In 2013, New York City passed the first law against police profiling of transgender people that can be enforced in court. In the year 2013, the city of New York passed the first law against the police profiling of trans transgender people in the court. But our community is still being targeted by the NYPD's broken windows, policing of homeless people in shelters and harassment of youth on the trains, in parks, and on the piers. Pero nuestra comunidad todavía está perfilados por eh, la policía de Nueva York, la ley de las ventanas rotas eh, de personas sin casas y el acoso de adolescentes en los trenes, los parques y también los muelles. Trans lives matter, and because so much of the media and the way that uh, trans folks are covered is sort of this weird fixation on surgery and hormones and medical intervention um, and trans people dying, which all of it is super important and like valid and a real reflection of some parts of trans people's lives. But um, transgender activism is also about resistance and building with um, racial and economic justice. I'm hoping that the ways that we build and move together reflect um, who is experiencing the brunt of what we're talking about in terms of systems of violence and oppression. Well, I came up in the 70s in Cleveland, Ohio, and back then we were called queer. Queer. You're either Caucasian, no other minority wasn't noticed in Ohio, Cleveland, you were known as queer. My father found out that I was gay, well, gay now and he beat me and put me to a radiator, handcuffed me, was hitting me, and my grandmother heard him and come down, and he released me, and I stayed with her from 17. And I came here and got all the treatment for implants, which is the best city for all the work. And I met a queen named Sylvie Rivera, and we were on Grove Street in 1972, and the heterosexual didn't want trannies, most of all, per se, all gay men, you were different. They made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. They made men, women with vaginas, not titties and penises. So me and Sylvia told the police, she was in her middle 20s, I was in my, that we weren't gonna have it. So we took golf balls and hit the horses. They went up, that started the revolution. And she died two months after that from the age, and she always told me, girl, I want you to carry the world, all the world, all throughout the world, the transgenders and all trannies of the world, and it's New York especially, should you be united. And I'm 64 years old, very legendary, and I'm very proud to be here. Thank you, God bless you. On June 28, 1969, New York City police officers raided the Stonewall Inn, a gay bar located on Christopher Street, Greenwich Village. 
On this day, patrons of the bar violently retaliated against the raiding officers in a clear act of police violence. The spark of rebellion is considered the start of the modern-day LGBT movement. Historian Lillian Faderman says that Stonewall was, quote, a shot heard around the world. Crucial because it sounded the rally for movement.